six players so far, but believe me, in the short amount of time, that network bug is only going to be higher. Oh, coming under fire, it's Pain. They are going to be trying to hold themselves down. Pain Esports, of course. Not Pain Retribution. <laughs> it's the other Pain. Uh, but a lot oh, of teams right now on. starting to clash. This is the chaotic fifth round fight. So we'll see what they're going to be able to get wow. done. And that's Insidious just eliminating Rip Official. They're going to go down and out as Insidious hold the top very strong. You can see they've got plenty of supplies on board. He's He should be absolutely fine. And if the rest of them are yeah. going to go, this is the IGL for Team Insidious. Smokey there. Complete annihilation as they got them down. Four guys out and still four guys on their feet. Most important, they didn't take any casualties in all of that. Lancer swooping a nade around the corner of the building. Oh, there oh, gets oh. a knock on it as well. Piano guy. Nothing he could do there at all. Interesting. Not able to land the shots there, but Demon King goes down. Oh, no, it was able to go through. Skull just eliminated. I believe that ZFX down and out on the southern side. And now it's free for Daku to move on in, but 8-bit on their top left. And if you guys are wondering a bit about some observing things, it is uh, only because we are sitting in Europe broadcasting Indian games for you. So there is going to be a little bit of a ping thing that the players, of course, do not suffer from whatsoever. Yeah, you can see 8-bit just getting pinged out as well by Daku. Uh, they, oh, sorry, the other way around. 8-bit mm -hmm, uh, taking mm -hmm. those shots and... Seeing what they can do. The main issue with this area right now, and we see it on the Daku screen too, all these players that were fighting for the south just before, now that the circle went back up north, they all have to cross this river. Sure, it is iced up so you can run across it, but that's not going to make things any easier. It's a big, big open terrain, and you do not want to get out there. No, you're going to get frozen up on the push. But they don't have to make it just yet. They've still got a minute, but every second counts here on these pushes if you need to get a res if you need to get some to, to some cover you need to try and have that time to do it eight bit though they're still shooting over onto god's reign and trying to give themselves a little bit of respite but there's players waiting on the other side there's they're just completely surrounded here for eight bit but yeah on the flip side the other teams have to make that push as well that's the thing right you try to contain the guys down here but at some point you probably you might be the one contained yourself and you got to figure whether you want to be the one to take the fight on the edge and force our teams or you want to move in and take that fight later and with this point system we didn't really talk about it coming into this day but with this point system really really benefiting placements you might just be better off leaving that fight and taking the spot instead Certainly, yeah, with the placement points, you want to be hitting those top fives. Yeah. That's really where the points start to come in. Uh, we'll have a points breakdown at some point, but it's now starting to come with a flurry of kills. Teams dropping like flies. I think that's Pain Esports getting eliminated there by Hydra. One of the stronger teams moving forwards. This Insidious is still holding on, and they have the next circle as well. It's really interesting that they've just managed to get all these places so far. Beast of a circle. North side is a big mountain, south is a big river. As big of a contrast as you could possibly have in all of one map. Grosser and military best in the crate still. Hydra might just want to go up and get themselves on that one. But uh, for now, at least for now, they're sitting tight in it down the mountainside. Oh dear. Orb and Skull sitting very close to one another. But they've got as well SWAT in this set of buildings. It's just so difficult to move around at this stage because everyone's yeah. starting to cross no one wants to go out and this is only going to do what you were talking about earlier toby with that chaotic push because eventually they are going to have to leave those buildings That's and the eventually thing. they're going to see each other yeah they will need to make that move up eventually we saw the circle had shifted further north went all the way up towards the mountains that once more so not only do the guys have to cross the water downtown now they also have a city to run through it's only going to get more chaotic from here and out 34 still alive too and that's the thing as well with all of these teams grouping up around the south hydra and insidious just have a free circle yep. they don't have to do anything to move up in those placements not at all they could just say it's sit tight and let the other guys fight it out on the southern side the thing is right here as you can see with these guys trying to slowly make them move on forward you're forced to take a uh, really big care of the circle here it's phase six it starts chunking you really hard at this point indian tigers pinched between daku oh no that's pain retribution sorry and uh didn't quite catch their names, but they're, they're, uh, oh, there we go, coming soon. <laughs> so they're going to be there. The next circle popping as well. A little bit of a northern shift. Everybody has to leave these buildings. The question yeah. is, who's going to go first? Orb seem to be wanting to make this break. They've already laid down the smoke. They crossed the broken wall, and Skull don't really have anything to stop them with. So you can see SWAT already preoccupying their time. Orb, though, they might just be able to find something. As Silverson jumps out the window into open ground, might even be able to use that smoke that the enemies laid down earlier. Nice little do si -do. King out. stayed behind. I'm not sure exactly what the idea behind that was because it seemed like they were all kind of fully committed to that push across when they threw the smokes out for cover. But as you can see, he's still sitting in that backside building, just maybe trying to uh, get anything of what's coming out of the skull and uh, SWAT fight on the south side. 
Insidious actually clashing with Hydra for position in the circle at the moment as these teams in the south do push on in. Of course, in the same building, they have to wait around the stairs. Nades being thrown up and down, but 30 seconds left, and this circle's going to push them, and it will not tickle lightly. Yeah, wow, they're just not getting anything as far as the big old circle. RNG going there, waves going further up the mountain, and now we have more fights escalated. Pain Retribution are going to be trading blow for blow with Indian Tigers as the push comes out from Skull and SWAT as well. Looks like Skull able to come out on top so far. They're going to get it done. Indian Tigers under pressure as well across the way as this is the time where everyone needs to make the move. You can see Indian Tigers able to survive, able to win it out, and they hold in their compound. Now they have to push on towards Hydra. Yeah, so many fights happen at the same time. The kill feed can't even keep track of what's going on here. Everyone's just fighting left, right, and all over the place. We still have teams on the southern side, and this is the bottleneck that we've been talking about before. You have so much room to work with early game, but once all these teams start making their way into that next circle, the bottleneck is only going to get thinner. I'm expecting that number seven to drop down to a number a number four pretty quickly Something at this stage. That, yeah. So we'll see who's going to be able to get out. Orb under a lot of pressure. They're fighting away with Skull, looking for more, but that just about clinches wow. it out. That Skull taking position over Orb. They will go down. And now coming soon, are going to crash into Skull, seeing what they can get done. They have SWAT on their backs as well. Will get eliminated there. So Skull are going to go out as and just everybody's falling down. Sorry, no, Skull is still yeah, in Skull it. Is, and that's what I was going to say. I mean, Skull has been fighting pretty much six or seven teams on the south side at this point, and they're still alive. Not sure how Jonathan managed to make his way out of that city. They should have quite a few kills with them in all of this. And now we've got more fights once again escalating. We told you it was going to get chaotic eventually, and it just happened right there. We're down to 13 players in the matter of just a couple of seconds. Indian Tigers get wiped on out. Now it's just Hydra, Insidious. I believe that's coming soon. And Skull on that south side with Jonathan, the wild card player here. Insidious yeah. have control of the compound, but the circle is going to move to them as well. This is the situation wow. you were talking about earlier, Toby. Not only do they get the circle late game, but they're also sitting at bang center on a compound. Look at the fortification that they have here. They have the perfect position to play from. And the thing about Insidious is they haven't really been fighting that much. They have nine kills, but that's mainly been people they've been taking out from afar. So the Kevlar, their helmet's still up. They got Mets, they got all the utility they need, and they're in for a really, really good late game. That's the thing as well. If you try, if you go for those fights, you are just going to deplete those resources. And, and PUBG, PUBG Mobile as well, is a very resource-intensive game. It is. See what they're able to get done, but Mazik oh, does yeah. get knocked down. Insidious can't quite hold it there. Cartoons gets knocked as well as Hydra. They're dynamic. They're bold, yep. and they make the push. Hydra. Joker able to get the frags. They realize the importance of this compound, and they want a piece of it, but it ain't going to come free, and it ain't going to come easy at all nice either. Two done. going down, down Smokey. He's able to get it done. The IGL frags when it counts. Bishma, last standing for Hydra, will get the res off onto Draga. Question is, what more can they get? Insidious just taking the break as well as Omen makes this rotation now. But it's in the meantime, look, coming soon, they're on the flank. They've eliminated Jonathan in the meantime, so it's a three-team uh, three game now. They have to play this oh so cautiously. They cannot keep taking this fight with Hydra if you're in cities. They have to know at this point that they've got teams on both sides. They cannot fully commit everyone to focusing on the other side. Sure, they got all their resins back up, so they're four guys alive. But they have to leave at least, at least one guy. No matter the pressure coming from Hydra, they have to leave at least one guy looking the other way. Yeah, and I think that's going to be Mazik. He's sat in the building healing, so he's just going to be the lookout at this stage. The rotations can come through. They'll know something's up now. The smokes are getting popped. Question is, are they going to be able to hold this compound forever yeah. against two teams? Well, they technically they're in all power. It's inside the circle, so they don't have to go anywhere. The only thing is, with the pressure constantly being put on both sides, but you can see here as well, I mean, all that coming soon has for cover smokes. That's all they have to work around. Hydra still have the little hut over there on the other side, but I mean, they got to somehow, unpurposely, coordinate the best time to take from both sides in order to take down Insidious. Because if they if they allow them yeah. to take a full-on fight with one, reset, take the fight on the other side, that would be a huge misplay from whoever gets the chance to third party. Exactly. And and you're looking, you've got four players alive for Insidious. They are so strong. They have 11 kills already. Yeah. You're looking at three for Hydra and three for coming soon. So no matter what, there's a disadvantage. There's Unless two these two Hydra, teams right? team up. I think it's only two, two alive from Hydra at this point, actually. Oh, it might check. be. Yeah, yeah, only two. But look at the little side push coming in here. The only question is whether um, a Master can see him. Oh, well, you see they're in around. Oh, they know. <laughs> oh, this is a very oh, small angle. Oh, he gets spotted out. They One get spotted down. out. Yeah. 
Uh, it's going to be DY9 actually starting to make the push, but existence is going to get confirmed. Now two players for coming soon. They make the push up to the wall, and Omen is down. Yep, yep. One player went down. That's the second not coming in for him, too, so that's going to be him bleeding out fast. You can see that they want to finish him off, but ain't going to come easy. Where is Hydra on this? They have a chance to interfere with the chaos that's currently at hand, but they're not taking the chance here. Hydra, they lose a player to the play zone there. That's just not excusable at yeah. this point, honestly. You're sitting so well in it. The difference in these placement points are so big, and you're taking way too much damage off of this. They're starting to go for the heal off. Of course, the zone is closing. Who's going to be able to stand tall? I think that's Insidious able to clinch it out. They had the compound the whole time, and they have a whole boatload of kills as well. Yeah. Hydra not able to heal out the zone, and they will place third, but still a decent showing. I mean, I can respect the fact they didn't want to go...